All right. Um, we wanted this thing to, uh, when the timer runs out, uh, it should tell you you lost. And it does that. That's not bad. Maybe 60 instead of 50. Um, but it should also, if I press the zero or whatever the number ought to be, it should um, it should accept that I've won. So um, we're going to do that now. Uh, to start with, I'm going to say um, var n answer equals math dot random times uh, ten and. Uh, so that will give me a random number between 0 and 10. It could be a decimal. Um, but I'm going to also do math.floor around that, which means take the answer and round it down. So I'm going to get numbers 0 through 9, which are the keys that you have to press. So that will give us a number that's 0 through 9. Uh, so that way we have a random number. The thing shouldn't just show zero. It should show a random number. So I'm going to switch out that zero there with the random number. Um, I think I have to do the same. No, that's it. Um, so if I save that, um, it should show a random number. Uh, <laughs> we will take off the thing it, it, that shows zero, like right here. Um, it prints zero the first time. Um, we can take out some of that stuff, actually. Uh, I'm going to delete that. It's not that big of a deal, though. Um, so now when you start it, it's just a red screen for a second, and then the timer starts, and i got to press 2. Well, I'm pressing 2, and it's not doing anything. Uh, I always lose. Um, so what we got to do is make the thing respond to a keyboard press. So what I'm going to do is say, um, oh, we'll say... Uh, uh, the document dot um, I guess on key press I believe that's oh I'll just I'll just look it up instead of going by memory um, JavaScript get um, key code uh, I guess just event dot key code usually we make an event listener though um, hmm I want an event listener on key down yeah I think that's a thing uh, so document dot on key down uh, there's a difference between on key down on key up and whatnot so we'll say on key down uh, that'll be a function I think I'm doing this right, I hope. Um, and it passes in the event. Um, and we should say alert. We'll just try it. Alert um, e, the event, dot key code. Let's see if that worked. Um, if I press a key, it says, oh, it gives me the number. I guess I don't want code. Um, key mm, what is it it's not key code is it just key yeah if you just press key um, it tells you which letter you're pressing or which number you're pressing so uh, if I press a key um, if um, remember the if goes like this uh, when you press a key, if e dot key equals the um, that the number answer, now one thing to be aware of is that um, when I press a key, like I press a two, it comes in as a two with quotes around it. It's text. It's not like a naked number. So I need to convert that to text, my number to text, so that I can make it a comparison. Um, or you could convert this to a number. It's either either or. So I'm just going to say um, to string, and that should make it text. And if the the key that I press matches the answer, then the game should end in a way that's happier. 
So instead of it being like a dark red screen, I just copied all that was in this um, uh, this loop, or I mean this little block here, and I put it also down here, so the game will end just like it did when I ran out of time. But this time the screen will be maybe I don't know, uh, maybe a, um, a green. So um, it'll be sort of a dark green, and it'll say success and um, it will clear the it'll end the game in, immediately um, let's see if that works I got it. oh I want to get rid of that alert have I done that already yes I have okay so we're good so once I press OK it should refresh and if I press 1 I just won so that's the beginning. That's our first mini game. Um, 